Hey guys, it is Duke, and welcome to a new series. This is my very own, my very special, just a little bit different. Hello, Mr. Sheep. There's Mr. Sheep number two. There's sheep everywhere. We have an infestation, and that needs to be erased immediately by the use of fences and proper care, of course. Uh, but this is my very own single-player survival world, guys. I just hope you're so happy to be here. I hope you guys are doing great today. As always, I always ask, how you guys doing? Because I'd love for you to tell me in the comments below. Uh, but you know, now that I'm restarting my YouTube channel, getting that back up and going again, we got to pick off right where we left off. And as you saw, Monday, I don't know when this is going to be released, but at least Monday... Uh, we had our very own Tech It Let's Play series start back up, which was a big hit on the channel. So hopefully you guys welcome that back. Hopefully you guys welcome this back as well. We pick up a flower or two, just starting off. I love the Azure Blue. Ho ho. Um, we're gonna pick up this flower. Hello, chicken. Oh, it's because I have seeds. I thought he was just being a jerk. Uh, but there's a couple chickens, so that's actually kind of nifty. Maybe we'll keep those guys around so we can farm them. And what are these? Corn flowers? Yes. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm not too familiar with the newest version of Minecraft here, guys. There's a little bit I need to get caught up on. Uh, I was a big player back in the day. Wow, that makes me sound so like something I'm completely not. Big Minecraft player, I should say. Come on. Obviously, I would never. I hear a kitty. Is that a kitty? It is. I actually like that skin for them. It's it's kind of an interesting, interesting change, guys. Just a, a few things have been added to this game that I'm not too familiar with. But oh, what do we got over here? This is actually a much bigger village than I had anticipated. Hi. You're staring at me. I, I I'm not gonna do anything. I swear. I've got a bell. Okay, these are those are pretty cool. I'll definitely take this at some point, just because, you know, we got to ransack the village, as, as always. What else do you do in a Minecraft world? Um, but let's start, uh, can we trade with this guy? Excuse me. Sir. Please. No? That's it, that's it. Was that a yes? Yeah, see, he's shaking, wait. What? Was he not shaking his head? Yes. So rude. Unbelievable. <laughs> Now, what do these houses have in them? So we got a little a little bed there and a little table. They really could use some more IKEA furniture because that is that is unbelievably horrible. Let's take a hay bale or two just for some some extra food along the way. And uh, let's see what we got because I am not familiar with these villages at all, guys. This house is floating. What happened to you? Okay, back in the day, wouldn't they just put like stone or like cobblestone or dirt all the way up or something like that? Now it's just floating. Wait, what? Is that another village over there? Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Oh, we got tons of food, though. I'm just trying to ransack these villages, man. Take what I can. I spawned in this world, and I was like, yo, there's a village here. This is great. But I didn't really look around. I saw there's a swamp here. There's a taiga over there. There's a mountain and a forest on that side. So we're surrounded by some pretty cool biomes. Should be able to get a lot of stuff pretty darn quickly but I just you know had to spawn in see what we had and uh, ooh gold nuggets that's interesting don't really need those but technically I have gold all right Nick Fury what the heck you doing boy you actually like what is oh this is um a grind wheel a um, grindstone question mark I know these just got recently added, but I don't really know what they're, they're useful. What? Ten obsidian. Mm. That is one of those things where it's like not entirely useful to us right now. But how can we pass that up? Because that is so phenomenally useful at a later point just because I don't have to go digging by myself. Oh, that's so nice. I actually really enjoy this. Hi, you have a monocle. Oh, I just put a piece of wood on the ground. Yeah, don't mind. Okay, just walking across it. You back talking me, boy? Maybe I'll just steal what you have in here. Yeah, what do you think about that? There's maps. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. And paper, 
bread. You can always use the bread. And now this is a cartography table, so I believe that's how you make maps in this new version. Again, not too sure. Still a lot to learn. Um, but let us... Actually, let's head towards this way and make ourselves a couple tools in some... I, I don't want to mine, I don't want to undermine this just because I think that natural generation looks pretty sweet right there. But there's a little spot over here where the floating house was. I think we can make a couple tools just so we can go on over to the other village. Maybe peek on in there, steal some stuff because that's what you're supposed to do in this game to the villages. But obviously, of course, no, we need to protect them. So we will come back at a later time and do as much protecting as possible. But let's play some Minecraft. Ha ha. Yes. Pickaxe. Stone. Cobblestone. Yes. Okay, so I sound really funny right now. I've been watching a lot of my old friends on the Afterlife SMP, which I, I will just, you know, quiet shout out right there. A little bit of a shout out to my boys. Uh, they're doing great stuff over there. I've been watching my friend uh, Hughbone, who I used to actually play a lot of games with, and I am more, don't really talk to those guys as much as I wish I did, um, but he talks in a very interesting commentary. I don't really know how to describe it except for it's just nothing you've ever seen before, so I highly recommend checking it out, but it's one of those things where I don't think anyone but him could pull off, so when I try to do it myself, it just sounds really cringy, and I just really need to wrap it up, but we're going to just mine a little bit of coal out here. I think eight should be good for now. Let us make a few more sticks, and then we'll make ourselves an axe and a sword, just for the time being. I know we need to make a shovel and other tools, such as a hoe, which is very important. Don't let anyone tell you differently. But let's go check out on that village, because obviously we need to check that out immediately. And something I'm interested in seeing over there... In the taiga, if we can get any berry bushes, which were just recently added, but I absolutely love them. I know they're not really useful, and they're kind of, like, clutter. I don't know. I really enjoy them, and we can definitely find use for them at some point in building. Just a little, a little bit extra. Nothing too important, just something to have. And I guess we have another pretty decent-sized village... We got clay under there. This is a pretty great world generation. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I literally just spawned in, tried to see what I could because I wanted to start up a single player world uh, to get going with you guys. And I have been blown away with everything I'm seeing in this world so far. So absolutely zero complaints. And there's beds, so we don't have to worry about that. That is a blast furnace, which is really, really cool. I'm definitely going to be making a ton of those because... Why not? You know, they added all this new stuff into the game. we got to take advantage. Hello, Mr. Farmer. 15 beetroot for an emerald? I might have to keep him around. Hello, horsey. How are you doing today? That's a small house. Happens, though, you know? Maybe it's uh, the economy's down. I don't know how this works. Wow. Most of these guys give me food. This guy, just not so much happens i'll take it whatever we'll roll with it i should be thankful because i am well i i kind of just ran to this village and started stealing stuff so oof yes what is on your head buddy oh you're like an armor smith of sorts what's that I, i'm gonna s sneak on in here and quietly snag that don't tell anybody Body, but we need that. We want that. So it's ours now because I believe that's how that works. A brewing stand at this early in the game is actually completely unnecessary. But hey, we're going to take it anyways. It's cool though. It's, it's, it is cool. I'll, I'll give it that. I kind of like this generation right here. It looks like these trees were almost put together by the village. Of course they're not. But it's just kind of cool. Something to at least picture in our own, in our own world. The horses are all like tucked away under these trees. I can't imagine they enjoy that life very much, but hey, what am I? I'm just the uh, the thief wandering through town here, so, you know, I gotta probably stay away from all that. This is a big house. It's so got two beds and a chest with a ton of potatoes in it. And let's, let's get some nice sweet dreams. Very nice. We'll just go to rest, and that way we can wake up, not deal with any mobs, because we're not quite ready for that. 
you know, we've just been stealing so much and not enough time for anything else. <laughs> I don't know. Normally I don't play like this, guys. Normally I just play, you know, your, your good old Minecraft, but Rotten Flesh and... Uh, huh? Hi. Hello. Wait a second. I can exploit the heck out of that man. Look at all this. If we just gather up all of the hay bales, we can turn them all into wheat and we can get a ton of emeralds immediately here, guys. This is actually something I really want to do uh, in this, uh, not in this episode in particular, but in this series is just go absolutely nuts with the villagers. So we're totally going to do that. But let's come over here. Yes. Dad. Okay. So you have the little particle effects and did his skin change did that really just happen now he's apprentice oh he knows more I like you no no buddy okay um can I like hide you protect you from the no okay this way <laughs> this might be a little bit more difficult than I thought I know I need to protect these guys because of course they're going to get absolutely destroyed here whenever it's nighttime. But we're just going to steal their bell, make our way away from these guys for now, and let's head on to our original village. That way we're right next to spawn. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is go ahead and gather up a little bit of resources. When I find some iron, I'll bring you back. That way our first mined iron, not the iron that we stole from a village, will be ours and on camera as something I did in the tech series and then I'll talk to you guys a little bit about a couple other things that I have just in store for this that might separate this series from others that you have previously watched and or are currently watching so I'll be back with you guys in just a moment all right guys so we're gonna bring you back for just a minute we do not have the iron yet but we're just about to embark on the most important part of all of Minecraft of course creeper oh man oh shoot oh shoot he actually coming oh lord he coming oh no we need to fight this boy and not be completely exploded i got him oh dude that is so satisfying having a creeper being your first murder oh my gosh we just need to stop um so i was using my resources found in the village and also that was self-defense, right? That's how we're going to rationalize doing what I just did? Okay. What is this cave? Coal vein. Coal vein. Coal vein. Coal vein. Coal vein. All, all right here. I don't see any iron. But there's there's coal. <laughs> so I guess we got that going for us. But one th Oh, there's another one right here. So much coal. We're going to have so many torches. It's going to be amazing. Uh, but one thing I wanted to show you guys just very, very quickly, and hopefully we can find some iron right away, is bam! There are berry bushes. I literally think I was probably staring right at them, and somebody probably yelled at me. Totally understandable. But these are just completely unnecessary. But hey, I've got some right away, which is kind of cool. And we can start growing them. A little bit of a food source. If not, then we can just use them for the look. Because I personally love how berry bushes look. I think they are a great little accent piece to have around in your home. But let us go ahead and make a chest so we can toss some of the stuff that we're not going to use right away. Uh, just aside, because obviously I'm going to want all of it later. But for now, we will not need all of it Um if you guys don't know, I made some shears right there, which allowed us to get the wool. And I think as far as that goes, we just mined a little bit more coal. And I think you're all caught up. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see if we can just find some iron. That way I don't have to cut because that is not any fun. I hear zombies. There is sand right there. I'm kind of nervous to do this. Let's see, what can we get? Can we get some iron? It's literally so plentiful. Oh my god! What? No way. No way. No way. What? Did that... Did that just happen? What kind of spawn? That is so beyond lucky. That's incredible. There's iron too right there. Oh my god. This is... Everything is coming together for us guys right here. 
We need to be very, very careful about this, though, because I do not want to die. But this is so useful. What are the chords? 285, negative 70, just about. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's grab that iron, just so we can say we've completed our task for this part of today's episode. Oh, hi. A skeleton spawner, though. Like, imagine. Imagine a start like this. I never could have guessed. I am blown away. I'm so thrilled. We'll probably get blown up and lose all of this stuff, but... Wow. Hello, he can see me. And I got moss stone. You know, I don't even care if there's not a chest in here. Which I don't think there actually is. Oh, he's hitting me. That boy has a good aim. Okay, how are we going to do this? Oh, they can see me from over there, too. I think we're just going to have to... Oh, they shot each other. Oh, I got a bow. Guys, I don't know if this is all luck or if this is fate. Me coming back, starting my channel. There's another skeleton. Starting my channel over and getting absolutely just amazing. Uh, guys, I am not joking. This is just a world I started up. You can even try it out for yourself. The seed is Captain America. I'm not even joking. Um, what, though? This is nuts. And there's more iron right there. Now, tell me this is not the luckiest thing I have ever seen. I am literally blown away. Oh, that's concrete, isn't it? I've never actually built anything out of concrete, so we're definitely doing that in this series. But we have a skeleton spawner. This is episode one. I don't even know how to handle this. I'm really worried that that gravel's going to fall, even though obviously it's not going to unless I do something to it. But I am thrilled. But while we are here, um, I'm going to try to keep these episodes at about 20 minutes. I know I ramble on quite a bit. Um, if you guys look at my Tech it video, my first episode was 40 minutes just kind of happens it's hard for me to limit myself I need to do a better job at that now that I'm you know trying to be a more professional youtuber I also need better thumbnails but hey for now they're just gonna have to work right uh, but guys I need to tell you about everything that's going to make this series different because obviously that is something I brought up in the last clip and I thought I would stress the importance of all of it right here right now for you that way you get to know everything involved but we are using a couple of Exumavoids vanilla tweaks um, in this series just because they are so helpful, so handy. Most of them are very small gameplay, but they're just just enough that I love them. And I'm very, very lucky and very, very happy that we have those added in because back in the day, we were trying to record, do uh, videos. Oh, what? How did you... Brother... No, not not cool. I don't know where he came from, to be honest with you. Can you see me? I'm trying to lure him over here. Yep, there we go. Um, but I'm adding a couple of vanilla tweaks in here, guys. If you guys already found out, you should have. I, I can't imagine you guys haven't yet. When I get hit, it doesn't sound like normal Minecraft. It sounds like old Minecraft, which is one of the resource pack additions I have in, as well as different stems. Um, I think kelp growth looks a little bit different, and nether brick is now black, which I think is a very nice addition and adds just another brick texture that we can use for building, which I will love and absolutely get on top of as much as possible. Uh, as far as that goes, as far as data packs go, we have a couple additions, which you can see when we go to advancement here. Larger phantoms, so the phantoms are going to get bigger the longer we don't sleep. More mob heads, which is just, you know, it's completely unnecessary, but it's so cool. Like, it's just having old mob heads around is going to be very nice. And then double shulker shells, which might be the cheatiest thing I've ever done. Whoa, guys. It's crazy. No, I'm joking. Uh, but do double stroker shells are just kind of one of those things that, hey, might as well. I don't think anyone would be too upset about it. I think it's just kind of fun. You know, this is a, a playground game. Let's just enjoy it for all it's worth. Also, crafting tweaks. We have, I have a piece of paper which actually says it on the side. So we, uh, you know, you got it all here. 12 trap doors. So when you're trying to make a trap door, you get 12, which makes sense. Okay, the crafting tweaks I chose, I'm trying to, trying to limit myself in terms of 
stuff that might be seen as cheaty and instead focus on things that are actually valuable to gameplay. So we got that. Um, you get eight stairs instead of four, which just frankly makes sense. It's how it should be because, you know, you're going from six blocks. Somehow you're only getting four stairs out of that, which does not make any sense at all. So we're going to have that. Um, more bricks. This one I don't know about. Um, so if you put four bricks into a crafting table, you get four brick blocks instead of just the one, which was always so annoying. Um, but now that's changed, so that'll be nice. We have rotten flesh into leather through a furnace, which you guys let me know. I know it's been a mod for quite some time, um, but as far as a vanilla tweet goes, I think it's completely necessary. Well, <laughs> it's convenient. That's probably a better word to use. And then wool to string. So we can take wool that we have and turn it into string. You get it's, it's just the reverse crafting. Nothing too big. But I hear a lot of stuff, guys. And there goes my pickaxe. Let's jump on up here, smelt everything up. That way you guys get to see me make an iron pick in episode one. So if we just go open to this blast furnace, we'll toss... 16 of those in there and look how much faster this works than a normal furnace. I think it's absolutely incredible I love these new blocks that they added in there. Obviously, I'm not too keen on them I don't know. I don't know everything still have a lot to learn um, But I'm very 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 much looking forward to this series guys because it's like a new take on Minecraft for me with the new vanilla tweaks with the new update um, and obviously there's more to come just a lot of a lot of inspiration a lot of stuff I want to talk about a lot of stuff I want to do to see I'm gonna have a great big base we're gonna dive into villagers a lot because it's just one of those things that I never had in the past and when you've been playing this Minecraft game since 2011 I believe yeah February 17th or 18th 2011 was when I started not with this account um, but that's how long I've been playing Minecraft for so if you guys uh kind of get the gist of it. I should definitely have worked my way into villagers at some point, so we definitely will. Um, but guys, I think that's going to wrap up today's episode, just, you know, a briefing of episode one. Obviously, we got a, a little bit out of the way, a little bit fixed up and done. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Leather furnace picked up the rotten flesh, so that is working. We know that for a fact. Um, but guys, two villages... We got a taiga, a swamp, mountains, a forest, another forest over here. We've got a skeleton spawner. We've got, oh, we've got some stuff. It's been a great start. I think it's absolutely tremendous. I think this is one of those starts that is, is just meant to be. So I'm very, very, very happy. Um, obviously, the seed, Captain America, come see for yourself. Just one word. I think I capitalized the C in Captain and the A in America. Um, so definitely go enjoy that. If you guys want to go play on this seed for yourself, don't tell me where the diamonds are, maybe? But the rest of it would be pretty cool. But, uh, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up today's episode right here. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see next. If you're new, maybe hit that subscribe button. Maybe stick around. And as I'm just restarting up this channel, I'd love for all of you to be with me on the grand journey that we're about to embark on. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you had a great day. I know I did. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.